Hi, my name is Clark. I'm an instructor trainer with scuba.com and today we're going to talk about the care and maintenance of your underwater camera and housing. It's best to get your camera prepared the night before you go diving. To try to do it early in the morning, you're not that awake, you haven't had that first cup of coffee, then you're going to get rushed trying to make the dive boat. So do it the night before. You want to open up the back of the housing. You make sure that the groove is clean of lint and any type of hair. If you have any moisture in the camera from maybe previous dives along the grooves, that's where you use the Q-tip again and maybe a lint-free cloth. Ensure that everything is taken care of. You want to make sure that you lube your O-ring well enough with some good silicone grease. You do this with all cameras but the Sea Life camera because the Sea Life camera has a uh, type of O-ring which does not require silicone gel. Once you've put the O-ring back in its groove, you're going to put the camera back in the housing and then you're going to close the housing. You then maybe want to take it into the bathroom, fill it up the bathroom sink with some water, uh, put your camera and housing into the water, making sure there's no leaks. Pull it out, let it air dry, and then keep it in the bathroom, maybe with your window open, but the door between your bathroom and your room, keep that closed. That's going to allow you to acclimate the camera to the actual outside air temperature when you go out in the morning. The first thing you do when you get on the boat is put your camera and housing in the camera bucket. The water temperature of the camera bucket is as close as the water temperature you're going to get of what you're going to be diving in. After your dive, if you want to change your memory card or change batteries, pull it out of the camera bucket, dry off the housing best you can, and then when you're ready to open up the housing, make sure you open it so the door is open downward. This eliminates any water from accidentally getting into the housing. Once you've got the camera out of the housing, then again you want to dab the groove where the o-ring is, make sure there's no water in there. Maybe take the o-ring out. You can use a credit card or some type of brass or soft metal, nothing sharp, to remove that o-ring. You can also use the method of pinching your fingers together. That raises a part of the o-ring up and then you can remove that from the groove as well. This is the time when you want to use the q-tips or the lint-free cloth to remove any moisture that might be around the, uh, the groove for the o-ring and then maybe you can remove your o-ring, uh, use some silicone gel if necessary, but again, not on the Sea Life cameras. After you're done cleaning the camera, replacing your uh, memory cards, your batteries, you want to gently close the camera, and when you're ready to go, put it back in the camera bucket, let it reacclimate itself to the water temperature, and you're ready for the next dive. If you have any questions about how to take care of your camera and your housing, please give one of our certified instructors a call at 1-800-34-SCUBA. And remember, we're here for you.